Greetings, fellow mathematicians. We're gonna take a look at another straightforward product rule question with trig functions. But instead of the usual sine and cosine, we're gonna take a look at one involving tangent and secant. Now, the problem is actually very straightforward with divide and conquer. The intent here is just to get you comfortable being as familiar with the derivatives of tangent and secant as you are with the derivatives of sine and cosine. So let's write our function down. It's tangent x times secant x. And here we have an obvious factorization already. It's gonna be very easy to identify our f, tangent of x. And the other function or factor g, that's gonna be secant. All right, and the derivatives, while a little bit more complicated than the derivatives of sine and cosine, they're straightforward. The derivative of tangent, make sure you know that, that's secant squared of x. So f prime comes out to secant squared of x. And the derivative of secant x, that comes out to secant x times tangent x. And that gives us g prime secant x times tangent x. And that's the work for the question. We have to put the pieces back together with the product rule as usual. So we're gonna get y prime, and the product rule comes out to be f prime times g. I'm gonna write this all out with all the four different parts there. f prime is secant squared of x, and that's times g which is just secant of x. And then we add to that f, which is tangent of x, times g prime, which is secant x, tangent x. Now we can simplify some of the pieces, just rewrite some of them with different powers here we have secant squared times secant. We can write this as secant cubed of x. And the other part here, notice we have tangent times tangent. We can write that as tangent squared of x. And don't forget about your factor of secant x. And there we go. That's probably about as simplified as you need to take it. If you really want to, you can factor out secant of x, in which case inside of parentheses, you would have secant squared of x plus tangent squared of x. Now be careful if you do simplify this way Make sure you are comfortable with your Pythagorean identities for tangent and secant. Your identity is one plus tangent squared of x. That equals secant squared of x. And if you notice here, that's not what we have here. Just be careful. A very common misconception or mistake is thinking that the identity for tangent and secant works like the basic Pythagorean identity for sine and cosine. Sine squared plus cosine squared equals one, but not tangent squared plus secant squared. The correct version is that one plus tangent squared equals secant squared. So just be careful. We don't actually need that for the problem. So you might wanna just simplify your derivative and leave it as this. That way you avoid the temptation to attempt to incorrectly apply a Pythagorean identity here. And that's the problem here. Very straightforward with the product rule and divide and conquer. Hope you enjoyed the problem. If you did, support the channel, like and subscribe.